Alright, let's pick it up here. Uh, we're exploring Ido Cave right now. We're looking for one of the rings that Okanagan told us about. I don't necessarily like this map that much. It's just that the enemies are pretty strong, and not to mention the map is very confusing. So it's kind of hard to tell your way around in this place. Alright. Oh, look who's here. No, you're not a policeman, Frank. Stupid ninja. That's not a doll, that's a Polynesian idol. Okay, we have a lot of exploring to do. Because, uh, those, one of those red statues, on uh, the magician ones, you're gonna need to, uh, use one of them. Ring fragment is over here. But as for which one, I wasn't entirely sure, so let's keep our eyes open. And unfortunately, I do set off another one. This is where the map will be extremely handy. So I'm not going to take the uh, the left path because that will lead me uh, towards the entrance. And this way starts a cutscene. Shania, I keep forgetting, and I've been meaning to ask you about it for a while. Yeah. Um. Okay. Why do you keep chasing after, uh, lady? Huh? Well, now we figure out what had happened. And it's a good thing we learned about it now, than when we would have learned about it towards the beginning. It happened three years ago. She came to our village, and began to kill our brothers without mercy. I do not know her reasons. Perhaps it was simply... Because our village lay in our path. There's something I don't necessarily understand is that obviously she helps people, but then she kills a lot of them for some reason. Bodies of our brothers. Obeying the chief's wishes, I took the princess and fled. And so I was unable to help my friends. And so we were the only two survivors. Okay, so, in effect, um, they're the last of their tribe. Well, aren't we in a talkative mood today? Please forgive me. There's really nothing to forgive. I'm just surprised. Doesn't sound at all too surprised. We better get going. We'll be left behind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't really believe uh, how uh, Nathan is pretty quiet. He does talk quite a bit. Okay. Let's check this little uh, path here. Nothing. I thought there would be something here. There usually is. Can't go that way. We're actually supposed to go behind there. And that's what the... That's why the red uh, tiki's are supposed to be useful. Okay. Let's uh patch everyone or patch up Mao and we're heading this way. Okay. Now basically this looks like the other place that we visited. Where we found the ring fragment, but somehow it's supposed to be different. I'm gonna save here. I also should have said I farmed quite a bit for coins, because I didn't exactly have enough surplus scallop coins to get uh, the next actor. So I attacked the uh, floating halo things, which dropped two scallops apiece, and I already have more than enough shrimp coins to uh, hire the next actor. Uh, the final actor, actually. Alright, we're supposed... We obviously see that ninja there, but we have to go uh, around and find a way towards him. I also made a dreadful mistake here. But at first I was just... 
what I'm doing is I'm trying to find that ninja, but it's here. Oh, Zodiac bracelet. That uh nulls uh petrification and uh paralysis. Let's see. Not that way. I was figuring I'm going that way. Okay, we found the second ninja. You hid behind a statue. What makes you think that you would have done a really good job at hiding? I just thought I was supposed to go on this one, but guess what? Wrong one. Okay, but I did get a reward out of this and I got Blood Loss 2. I haven't equipped it to Hilda yet, but I'll do that in a little bit. Okay, so I need to go wrong way. This is why I really hate this map. Okay. Gonna keep going. Alright. I suggest, uh, find the map completely because we're actually gonna revisit this area again. Uh, because there's another Yuma here, but we can only, uh, find it when we actually beat the boss here, because the altar is the place where you have to summon it, where you have to find the ring. Alright, this way. I also did something now that I, that I would have done a lot later, but I decided to do it now because I wanted to get it out of the way. Okay, over here, there is a row of warrior tikis. So you know what this means. All these fights are forced, so I'm going to record all of them. And these are really tough enemies. The golems. I call them golems because that's what the description is. Some kind of golem. Okay, let's ri raise everyone's attack. I thought by doing this twice I can actually double the amount. Keep it steady. But I didn't really see much of a difference. I think it just cancels out the previous effect. Okay. Looks like I only have one choice here. When I discovered I to get rid of them quickly and decide to pull off combos which is normally something you'd see me do uh, with bosses. Ah, oh, crap. Eh, I should've uh, used shield or something like that. I wonder if this was such a good idea. Okay. Well, they're close together, that would be handy. Okay, I'm starting a combo now. So with the upped uh, special attack, it should do a lot more damage. Mm, let's see. Nah. I think you've already seen this, but this is the third level light spell, uh, Bright the Side. Okay. Alright, that got rid of one of them. And since Mao has Gale Rod, I can just pull that off and, uh, ultimately get rid of this thing. Okay. With that gone, we've stopped, uh, one pair of Tiki's, so there's only two left. Let's wrap up here.